my dear friends my name is Harold and welcome to the sanctum in this video I'm going to talk a little bit more about how our unconscious mind can send us signals and messages to tell us more about what is going on within ourselves or within our lives through symptoms or sensations in our body or external synchronicities that may tell us more about how to take the next step on our path or whatever that might be so first of all it's important to know that there are various different symbolic systems to analyze experiences that we have in life but i'm specifically talking about things that may happen to us physically in this particular video or even things externally that happen in our life that may give us a symbolic idea about what's happening within ourselves okay so it's important to note that what I mean by this is let's say you are walking on the road or something and you're thinking about something and suddenly you bump your toe your your specifically the toe on your right foot uh, and then you might wonder why did this happen is there a particular reason why you bumped your toe at that moment in time while having this particular thought about going abroad on holiday so this is the sort of thing that I'm going to be discussing now it's important that when we venture into this sort of symbolic analysis that you take this all with a pinch of salt when you start to analyze your own situations in your life so this also applies to symptoms on your body so let's say you have a pain in your hand or you have repetitive strain or you're getting migraines or um, you have an eye problem or something like this or you have IBS or a heart pain or you're feeling as if uh, there's a sensation on your throat of, of pressure all of these if they don't have a physical direct cause it could have a psychological cause or your unconscious could be sending you a message and even if it's physical in nature oftentimes the root most of the time not always but most of the time could be due to an emotional cause and this will tell you more about what that emotion is and where it's coming from so let me give you an example of how this can be used in your life so a while back uh, uh, I was uh, living with some uh, flatmates and a very good friend of ours came to stay over and he was thinking about quitting his job because it was not something that well he loved what he was doing but he hated the area the, the particular place that he worked in because his boss was not the nicest person especially to him um, and he had kept repeating this story over and over and over again to me a number of times every time he would visit he would say oh how much he hates his work environment and he wants to move and he's been offered a new position although it means that he would have to move home and move to a different part of the city in order to take up this job so he had this resistance to taking that next step because he wasn't sure as well but he knew that he wasn't happy where he was and this was repeating itself reoccurring over and over so this day that he had come over I noticed that he, his ankle and foot was all bandaged up so as he was telling me this story I asked him you know what happened what happened to your right foot and he told me he had repetitive strain okay so let's analyze this symbolically so it's his right foot so the foot is what you use to take the next step on the path on your journey and he had repetitive strain so something that was repeating itself which he knows he needs to overcome and take that next step however he's straining from taking that next step on his journey so the unconscious almost manifested within his body repetitive strain to send him this message saying hey it's okay I know you're straining but take that next step trust it take that next step on your journey so I made him aware of this just like 
is it possible that this could mean this? And and he's quite an open guy, so he was like, wow, that's that's really interesting. And he decided to make that move. He decided to take that next step on his journey. And in fact, that was the right decision that he needed to do. And he was a lot happier there than the previous one at that time. So like this, our body can send us signals through our unconscious mind. Or should I say, should our unconscious mind can send us signals through our body. And it's now important to analyze how we can symbolically do this. So in certain systems of analysis, we divide the body into two halves, the right and the left. The right half of the body is associated with the now, something to do with the present moment. And the left side of the body is associated with the past, something to do with the past as in, in this particular incarnation or the past as in beyond this particular incarnation right present moment left past so if you divide the body like this if you look at the feet the feet and the legs are to do with movement and moving from one place to another that's what you mainly use to move from one place to another so everything you do with movement and taking the next step in your journey um, you know the knee may have to do with kneeling down maybe you're not bowing down to something there is something that you're just not letting go of control of so you need to bow down so you need to kneel down so that is associated with the knees if it's something in the present moment it might be your right knee and if it's something from the past that you're not letting go of control of or kneeling down to it might be your left knee okay the hips got to do with that's what you use to steer the body from right to left maybe there's something that you're not doing to steer your way in your own journey and we go back of course, the sexual organs is something to do with sexuality. Maybe there's some guilt there. Maybe there's some shame there. There's something that maybe it's to do with femininity or masculinity and your connection to this aspect of yourself. If you go up to the belly, this is an important aspect because this is where you digest. You don't just digest food, but this is where you digest in general. Maybe there's something in your life that you just haven't digested. That might be uh, uh, an event or a trauma, or past, it might be a past event if it's on this side, it might be a present event if it's on the right side. So something you haven't digested, the heart is of course to do with love. Maybe your heart has been broken, maybe you are experiencing grief. So the heart, and you haven't let go of that fully, you haven't mended your heart. So the heart is expressing that in some way. The throat is your center of expression so is the mouth and this whole region here is your is your area of expression maybe there is something that you're just not telling someone you're just holding back so you're holding that throat in and that's creating the pressure in your throat and it's causing symptoms to occur in your throat expression the face and the skin is your own view of yourself you know stuff like acne and eczema and all of this stuff could be associated your own view of yourself your own self-love your own acceptance of your own beauty and how you were created in your life okay the eyes have to do with sight seeing visionary are you afraid of what might happen in the future so you don't want to see the future are you not listening to something if it's something to do with your ears is there just something your ear is blocked, your right ear is blocked. Is there something in the now that the universe is trying to tell you, but you're just not listening? Or something from the past that you've just not listened to? That is associated with the ears. The breath is associated with your life, because it's the breath of life. You just feel like you just don't want to live anymore, that there is no purpose to life, there's no point of life. So maybe that's manifesting has something to do with the breathing the breath it's your breath of life it's your flow of life similar to the blood it's your essence it's your essence is a no point to existence or you can't find your own inner essence it's missing you're trying to you're looking for it so there is something going on with the blood yeah. the shoulders is are you carrying on so much from of somebody else's baggage or your own baggage from the past that you're just not letting it go so it's just weighing your shoulders down and you can feel that pressure on your back so this is just a quick analysis of part 
parts of the body just so that you can get an idea of how you can analyze what's going on um, in your life through what happens internally physical sensation this can even happen through external things as well like walking around and you are holding on to something or someone in your life and something happens to your right hand your hand of course with your hand what you do you hold on to you do things but also you hold on to things you hold on to people you hold on to to aspects of yourself you hold on to experiences so maybe you're holding on to something and something may happen and damage your hand as a, a message from the universe saying hey stop holding on let go so this is a way that you can symbolically analyze things that are going on in your body of course there are way more aspects of the body that you can really zoom in or zoom out if you have any questions about a particular aspect of the body that you'd like to know more about you can let me know in the comment section below and uh, i shall give you my thoughts on that so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful if you did please give it a like subscribe and i shall see you again in the next video